Thompson motions, and with all that misdirection, it's Sean Tucker over the right guard. And into Cincinnati territory. It's on Meta, plugs the hole. Dijon Anthony is down for Cincinnati. They love his instincts. He was actually the pick acquired in the Joe Mixon trade. Finished his college career at Ole Miss, a stop at Liberty, but began at Shepherd College in Division II. So Anthony attended to here. The Buccaneers able to start putting things together as Kyle Trask got further into the game against the Bengals reserves. Yeah, we talked about that first offense. Nice job mixing the play, short pass, downfield, running the football. Uh, you know, it, it was one of those things like Joe just stepped right in and uh, took right over. The offensive line gave him some great protection. Uh, they ran the ball effectively. So uh, good showing. First preseason game for they fit. And it's on to the second half of listening in. Last year, overcoming the calf injury, there was some discussion. Do you want to be involved in the play calling in any of these preseason games? And he had no interest in it. <laughs> I imagine that hasn't changed. And Anthony, that towel affixed to his face, making his way off the field. Looks like he's got a bloody nose. Uh, wow. Looks like he's saying... I don't need the towel either. Yeah. Leave my nose alone. It, it hurts enough. <laughs> you wiping it and putting that towel on my nose. Well, regrettably, that's the first use of the blue tent for Cincinnati this year. P.J. Jules comes in at safety to replace Anthony. Give off the right side. And a submarine tackle from Nate Brooks. Brings down Tucker. Sets up third down and two. I tell you what. Running hard, Sean Tucker. We got to give uh, Jeff Gunter. He had some great penetration, but wasn't able to get the running back. But uh, explosive coming off the football, getting that penetration. Now he's just got to get to the running back. Hayward wearing the dot. There's Andre Carter, who was just signed this week, released by Jacksonville last week. Motion through from Thompson. Handoff, big hole, and he might be gone. Sean Tucker. Slaloms his way inside the 20 yard line. And Alan George had a chance to get him down, but it's ultimately Jordan Battle who gets the job done around the 17. Nice job by that offensive line creating movement, but then, wow, what a nice cutback. Tucker taking it to the outside, and his line created a spot between the middle, the garden center, and he took it back wide open. Great run. Was a unanimous All-American for Syracuse. DJ Williams comes in and immediately receives the handoff. Able to grind down to the 15-yard line. Tucker's run 26 yards, the longest of the game by either team. A bunch of special team snaps last year, and he's had a tremendous night tonight. Nine carries for 67 yards. Wolford out of the gun. Wolford is sacked. Zach Taylor wanted to see more pressure on the quarterback. And that is an immediate response. Cedric Johnson, the rookie we were talking about earlier, the rookie from Ole Miss. Man, it was a jailbreak. There was three or four, and then Cedric finally comes down with it. Andre Carter, who you just mentioned uh, just a, a second ago, the rookie from Indiana, got some excellent pressure, and then Cedric Johnson cleaned up. Big smile from Zach Taylor, who said the more comfortable he becomes, the more we think he'll start to flash what we saw in him coming out of college. And off goes to Williams. Try off the left-hand side. And as has been typical over the years, the Bengals defense red zone. Cedric Johnson showing he can play the run too, making that initial contact there, number 52. Along with Davis Carlos, number 73. Carlos Davis played in Birmingham 20 yards last year. 
in the XFL. No NFL team in the regular season got released by Atlanta at the end of preseason. Camarda will hold. Laughlin will try and give Tampa Bay their first lead. He missed from 51 in the first half. This from 35. Money. Players. Tampa Bay has the lead. Coach spot. spot. But you have a great point there. Not only is he the offensive coordinator, but he's been here and he's worked with Zach. So it, uh, there's some continuity there. I mean, you know, he, he does have a new title and he's running things. But uh, the fact that he's been involved with Zach and Joe and this offense really makes a big difference, as you say, promoting from within. Flag down. On the return from Evans. During the return, holding against the return team, number 40. That penalty is enforced 10 yards from the spot of the foul. First down, Cincinnati. Michael Dowell. Reserve safety. And a glum look. Times penalties have been issues preseasons past. It has not been the case for the Bengals tonight. Largely a pretty clean game between the two teams. That's been the impressive thing. You know, not a whole lot of flags. You, you expect more. First preseason. Two minute drill at the end of the first half. We'll be back. <laughs> Bootleg. Goes short. Cam Grandy, too short. Incomplete. And it was Watts off the edge. Cousin Marquise. Chasing him for oh, loud. That's a grand assumption on my part, but I assume Watts is somewhere. We connect on the 20 yard line. <laughs> Consider it like a kick out of bounds. That would be. Browning out of the gun. William shimmies out to the 20. Missed tackle from Vi Jones, and once he was able to break that arm tackle, able to get forward for a gain of four. Yeah, nice job by Williams. Uh, showed a lot of power there by breaking that tackle. Ankle injury in pre cost him time in these hugely valuable games. It's amazing. Six years. This is six year. Wow. Texas A&M. It just. I mean, I, I just remember him getting here. Let's talking about it. Browning fires to the sideline. That's caught. There's a flag down in five. I saw a nice take there. Holding Ooh. offense number 79. Ten yard penalty remains third down. Jackson Carmen and he grabbed Jose Ramirez. Not to be confused with the players, their baseman. Bay <laughs> has the lead for the. Oh yeah, I kind of caught it before uh, the flag came. Down. Tampa Bay yeah, has the lead. Nice little twist down, and uh, we didn't get a chance to see it, but uh, it Money. Was definitely a holding. Has the lead. Speaking of sixth year, sixth year for Browning. There's Carmen, second round pick in 2021. Fourth season for the Bengals. And Tampa Bay has the lead. Ultimately trying to find his way. This from 35. On third and 16. Ball came out. Flag is down. Lasseter the reception. Mike, you talked Coach about Eric Spot. Spot. from Fairfield High School. Coach Jackson Spot. Spot. at Fairfield High School. Yep. We got two from uh, the Indians. Ineligible the man now field. Offense up, uh, up the number road. 76. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. You know, I, I was looking at it. We have several. Two minute Island drill Nation. at the end. Uh, we have uh, Eric two minute Miller, drill at the free agent from Louisville. Tackle. Played at Mason High School. Two course, minute drill Chad at the Hummer end of the first Louisville half. We'll be back. It's nice to have all those local guys here. Of course, for years, Kevin Huber. The played high school here, University of Cincinnati, kicked, kicked him for many years. Also, by a local guy. And this is Rico who will punt for the line. So <laughs> consider it like a kick out of bounds. That would be. He sends Canoe backpedaling all the way to the 32. But a chance for a return, diving across the 40 to the 43 yard line. Mr. Rio Uh Just worked on being a receiver. You know, this is my first true offseason. 
Um, so I got to work on just catching, route running, shifting, and just being more confident in who I was. So good, there's no way I could do that. I mean, obviously those guys are really, really good, but seeing them in real life, that you, you're able to interact with them and they're able to give you pointers. 20 yard and line, able to see consider how they like do what they do so well. And so you can work on it in real time. And I think that's just the biggest thing. They're also very goals other than stuff that I can control. So, yeah. Well, Andre, it was great seeing you guys back out there. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Wolford throws on third and 14. And the caravan stopped at the 49-yard line short of the yard to gain. Josefosh got a chance to start week 18, his first career start. Bagged a couple of touchdowns and a five-reception performance. And Yosevash, a guy where Tyler Boyd leaves for Tennessee, joins Brian Callahan. Impressed. Kamarda. I'm sorry, Mike, and a great interview. Mike. No doubt. Great job, Marissa. Did I mention Princeton? You did. You did mention. This sideline, I'm playing in front of the great crowd we had tonight. Um, no, it's definitely different. Uh, I was just telling a couple of guys that I'm trying to get used to and just to be on this side of the ball. And um, I have so many memories in this stadium already, so trying to get just to be on this side of the ball, though. For you coming and choosing Cincinnati to sign with in the offseason, what was it about the fit that they provided that made you want to come play for Lou Anarumo's defense? Um, I just want to go somewhere with a great defense. You know, someone had a great head coach, someone had a great quarterback. Um, you know, I, I want to win. That's my main goal. I want to get a Super Bowl. Um, I want to play ground with great guys. And they brought a lot of guys here in free agency. You know, I think it's a really good chance to get one of them. You talk about a team that has a great quarterback going up against Joe Burrow in practice every day. How has that been a benefit for you in the safeties room? Oh, that's great. You know, going against a quarterback like that, um, you know, I won against one for the past four years, and, and now going against a different one, a different style. Uh, it's good to see this type of offense, um, get ready for it. Um, you know, I got great guys now, like Vaughn back, to help me uh, learn this defense, uh, lose defense, and I, I think I've been doing a great job of it. You look at what you did stat-wise in 2023, one of your best seasons so far. How do you carry that momentum over here to Cincinnati now? Uh, just trying to be a pro and build and build every day, each day, get better. Um, learn as much as I can from these guys here. Uh, you know, try to teach the young guys as much as I can and uh, continue to do what I did last year. You know, be in the right spots, you know, make, a, make the play when it's there and the opportunity's there to be made. So that's what I'm trying to do this year. Gino, it's great to have you in Stripes. Appreciate the time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, Third down and seven coming for the Cincinnati offense. And Browning, time, that's batted, incomplete, and a flag down at the line of scrimmage. That was Ernest Brown, the fourth, that got a piece of it. Holding offense, number 79. That penalty's declined, fourth down. Good ear from Geno Stone. Seven interceptions last year, including four straight games midseason. Take a look at the hold. Yep, he lets him get under him. Jackson Carmen, and uh, once you get that arm around the neck. Or including their parents. And guys, Cedric told me it would make his night if he is able to get a good hit on his brother. If he does, he's, does, he's never going to let him let that down. It hasn't happened yet, but let's see if it can happen in this next quarter. Thank you. And how good are those photos? That's awesome. I think Cedric took uh, Cephas's food a little bit. You know, he's up 260, 270. Yeah. Cephas is 220. <laughs> if you come from a big family, you understand. Oh, I know. I know. I struggled until I got to high school and I shot past my brothers and I was able to get a little more food from them. Yeah, no one's taking anything from you after that. <laughs> Under three to play in the third quarter. Wolford out to the 36 yard line. Lance Robinson. That's the tackle. Two yards. Travis Bell had a huge sack on the last defensive drive for the Bengals. Oh, nice job. Good penetration. And did they get him short of the line to gain? They needed a yard. They are short. And that is John Mehta, who burst through and makes the tackle on Williams. You, know, as I mentioned, you mentioned Travis Bell getting that sack. The push that he got, I mean, he pushed that deep offensive lineman back. You see right here, number 53. Look at him. He's two yards back and allows the, running, the uh, linebackers, of John Mehta, to make the tackle. But you know, a lot of times those defensive tackles, they don't make all the tackles. They don't, they go unnoticed, but they're occupying one and two offensive linemen so the, the linebackers can make the tackle. Crowd comes alive. Fourth down and inches. Somebody jumped. Bell. Opposite Haggard. I think the defense got that one. At least 
the initial, I should say, the initial call was <laughs> motioned by the offense, but uh, we've seen uh, the flags picked up and changed, so we'll wait. Obligatory, it's preseason for everybody. Yep. Cliche. Neutral zone <laughs> infraction <laughs> defense, number 53. Five yard penalty, it results in a first down. We'll see it here. Yeah, that's that's a correct call. Yep. And now we know for whom the bell tolls. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm in the wrong AFC North City for that commentary. <laughs> exactly. Minute 25 to go in a fresh set of downs for Tampa Bay. Five Cincinnati penalties now. Wolford will change the play at the line of scrimmage. Stretch handoff to the right. And Williams out at the... Quarter. And that's the end of the third. Wrist surgery last year makes his debut, leads a touchdown drive. Third and one. To get the fourth quarter. Job, and this is did I mention Princeton? Stonewall you did. You did. Field. John Meta led the charge. And this Bengals defense continues to give in certain areas of the field, but coalescing just the right time. I tell you right here, you see no movement. This by side the line is going backwards. They see Gunter right there taking it in. Oh my. Excellent play right there. They were gonna well, go for it 15 yards ago, so you can bet they're gonna Good. go for it again. Wolford under center, fourth down and one. Play action, throw complete. And Keith takes it into the sideline with a first down. Got a piece of it. That penalty. Five, fourth down. Cole Keaton's last year, including Lance Robinson making the tackle. Take a look at the hole. Let's get under right him. There. Excellent nice play come. action pace. Uh, and uh, once you get play that arm, arm right, around the neck. A nice throw. Canoe into the slot. Wolford play action. Bootleg to the other side. This complete. Thompson. A first down and more. Bust into the sideline at the 30 by Nate Brooks. So the Buccaneers able to convert on fourth down twice, once by penalty on the hard count, and once on that bootleg completion. Close the tip. 15 Buccaneer first downs, and they're nearing the red zone. They're in field goal range now for McLaughlin. The rookie from the green wave. in motion, a lot of window dressing. This looks familiar. Wolford this time will walk further downfield and dancing into the sideline, Raleigh Webb. DB became a wide receiver at the Citadel. 40. Skipping Angeles. out with a first run game and then hit the regular season full speed. For you, going into year two now, what's been the biggest difference that you've seen out there at camp? I'm just more relaxed. Like, you know the playbook. For the third. You kind of know the ropes of, like, and so the Bengals team routine team and schedule. So, I mean, just more relaxed. Like, you're not overthinking things. A lot of when you look at the talent that the Bengals have now in this running back room, there's a lot of opportunity ahead for you. How are you embracing that competition? I mean, just taking it one day at a time. That's the number one thing. Um, we're pretty close running back room, so we know we got to work together to be the best. Um, that's just our mindset right now. You can see just how explosive you are when you're out there on the field. What is your training regimen like when you're in the offseason? I'm working out pretty much every day. Probably like a lot of everybody else. But yeah, I, I work pretty hard in the offseason and translate the field. Chase, appreciate the time. Good luck this season. Thank you. Wolford gets bumped out of bounds around the five yard line. Chase Brown has shown these really explosive flashes. And we'll see how that running back room shakes Jefferson into the game at running back. Third down. Wolford looks, fires, end zone incomplete. Dropped by Tanner Canoe. Fourth down, and if you're the Buccaneers, why not? Wow, Canoe is open, just dropped it right here. Wolford looking, 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 with plenty of time, throws the football. I think it was the greatest throw, but I think it was catchable. Wolford thinks it was. <laughs> 
third time they've lined up on fourth down, 13th play of the drive for Tampa Bay. Trying to make it a two-score game. Wolford fakes the handoff, throws the slant. Ball batted around and hits the ground. Flag is down as well. A lot of bodies right there in the middle of that ball. Holding off number 73. Uh, just worked on being a receiver. You know, this is my first true offseason. Uh, Timeout. Brandon Long, the right tackle, another holding penalty. The Bengals defense. And he's back here with Cincinnati. He is the third quarterback into the game. And that'll cost a yard. Maybe two yards. <laughs> Half the distance to the goal, it's Carmen. Offense, number 79. Half the distance to the goal remains first down. Tough evening for Jackson Carmen. Couple of holds It as has well. been. It has Broom. been. Broom. South, Zach Moss in from Indy. Out of Clemson. Starting to see people watching us practice. This is what the dream looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Paycor Stadium. Good throw by Woodside out to the perimeter. That's caught at the eight-yard line, and let's go down to Marissa. Thanks a lot, Mike. Well, Mike, Coach Taylor and a lot of your teammates have used the term edge when describing camp. What is an edge, and why is that edge so important to have as an area of focus for this upcoming season? It's just having that, that, that extra juice, you know what I mean? Um, during this time, it's, it's time to tune up for the season. Uh, you go against each other so much that it kind of brings out those competitive uh, juices and that edge to you. But it's something that can really carry into the, to the regular season, and that's how it's been for us during training camp. As one of the veteran leaders on this defense, what have you been stressing to some of the younger guys, especially in the secondary? Uh, just communicate and make sure you make plays when you got the opportunity. Uh, especially on the back, like the guys we have, and uh, we're, we're excited about the season. Now, Mike, every time I see the DB group together, it always looks like you guys are having the most fun out of anyone out there. But how do you balance having that fun and that energy with also just the seriousness of what's ahead of you? Uh, we, we know the right time when to have fun and when to lock in and do our jobs. Uh, usually you catch us smiling and having fun, but when, when it's time to go to work, you know, guys really uh, lock in and know, know what we have to do, and that's uh, execute. And I have to ask, you're sporting some bling here around the chain. Uh, tell me the significance and meaning behind it. Uh, one is my daughter's name, Michaela. Uh, and then this one is just my family as a whole, myself, my son, both Mike, then my wife, Chastity, and the age is for the Hilton. So this is just something I got for the family. Mike, appreciate the time. Good luck this season. Thank you. Maybe the best slot corner in the National Football League, Mike Hilton. Collins starting to show off a little bit here. Mentioned the numbers weren't huge. Five years of Michigan State, one at Oklahoma State. When you're stuck behind Kenneth Walker and Ollie Gordon, there's not a lot of carries to go around. But he's involved in making something out of nothing Just while Woodside was being harassed. Evans comes into the game for Collins. And able to make something there. Sets up third down and one. Also, Tanner McLaughlin makes his first catch. 23 yards. That's tied for the longest play from scrimmage for Cincinnati tonight. Alongside Yosevash, 23-yard catch in the first quarter. Woodside. That's out of the reach of a leaping Kwame Lassiter. And the hit comes from Chris McDonald. Anthony, we always seem to be talking about something else when the punter comes out. These guys are booming it. I tell tonight. you what, here's this Rico. Is, this is a great combination. I tell you what, I you know I keep talking about the practices I went to, and both punters were just booming them at practice. It's amazing. The last one from Robbins was 60 yards in the air, and not in the line drive either. It had pretty good hang time. It did, and that's what Rico was doing in practice too. Look at this. That is a near perfect spiral. <laughs> oh, lands at the two and goes a couple yards deep into the end zone. Let's call it another 60 yard punt. Of course, I had a chance to play with Tim and I had a chance to watch Corey quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting uh, September 23rd. Wolford play fake, throw over the middle. That's Williams again. Got hit by Devin Harper. It's super. Way to go, Marissa. Play fake. Woodside completes to Cam Grandy. 
And the Bengals are on the previous play, and Cincinnati, with four minutes to go, are in Buccaneer territory. Woodside doing a nice job on the last one, couple plays ago when he hit Elijah Collins, getting away from the pressure, connecting to Collins, moving him downfield. No pain in it running back. Logan Woodside, prodigal son, first preseason in the league. 2018 came in Cincinnati, on to Tennessee, then Atlanta. Woodside throwing deep down. Got him. Got him. Big play, Burton to the four. And there is a flag down. The third round for the pass. Illegal contact defense. Number 21. Counts. That penalty to climb. Touchdown. What a big time throw from Logan Woodside. And Jermaine Burton making an impact. That, oh, nice little hesitation move. Woodside completes to Cam Grandy. And the Bengals. And Woodside making a nice throw. What a great route. Thought he was going to stop and come back, and he took off. Wow. Of course, I had a great to see the young rookie from Alabama. Chance to play with Tim, and I had a chance. Welcome to the league. 41 yards, the longest play of the night for the third round draft pick. McPherson bangs through the extra point. And look at that smile for Burton. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Mentored by TJ Hushmanzada, who actually was out on the stage making the pick for Cincinnati at the draft this year. He FaceTimed him. He said, hey, guess what? And TJ said, I already know I'm holding your card. <laughs> Wow, he laid the woodside, laid that ball right in there. Perfect stride for, wow. Highest average yards per reception in the SEC. A seven yard catch earlier in the fourth quarter and then a 41 yard bomb. And since it passed the burden, the perfect. Rookie. Perfect wow. passer rating now for Woodside. Seven of eight for 111 in a TD. Canoe. Sure. Alabama. Sheds a tackle. Chance to play with to the 31-yard line. Pearson. Wolford to throw. Got it away. It's Jefferson at the 38. Clock runs. Devin Harper wraps him up, and the Bucks are moving. Big contributions from Elijah Collins. Woodside huge on that last drive. And then Burton finishes it off in fantastic fashion. Back to throw. Wolford. Canoe wow. reaches out what a and catch. snares it at the 45. What a catch. And the former Mason Comet. Drove about 25 miles away. Basketball Conference Defensive Player of the Year back in the day at Mason. Tossed over the middle again. That looks familiar. Canoe again. Wow. To the 33 with 2.20 to play. What a cool moment for him. Worldsworth nominee as the most outstanding walk on at Eastern Michigan. College free agent showing out on this drive. Wolford looks, delivers over the middle into the zone at the 25, keeping oh. his feet. And Jefferson into wow. the red zone as we hit the two minute warning. What a run. And of course, no more overtime in the preseason. If Tampa Bay scores, Bengals respond with a field goal, we'd end in a tie. Wolford to throw on first and ten and he airmails that out of play. Go. There you go. Coverage from Dowell. Pride of St. Ed's up in Northeast Ohio. And here's a look at the Bengals regular season schedule. It all starts at home against New England and then the showdown at Kansas City week two. Mm. Yep. The old Chiefs. 
in a lot of primetime games this year. Everyone expects a lot of these Bengals. Wolford hands off, plunging through Jefferson, and he got rebuffed. There you go. And again, Michael Seven. Wolford to throw, flushed. Fires incomplete. Fourth down. And the Buccaneers are going to go for it. Andre Carter. Most Andre of the fans Carter up off their seats now. <laughs> Wolford with an empty center. Wolford to throw. Clock is ticking Pressure down from the behind. He lost for the end zone. Incomplete. But there's oh. a flag. No. Oh, first down. Pass interference. Mm. Stop. The opposing <laughs> offense. Pass interference, defense, number 39. Ball will be placed at the spot yeah. foul. Automatic first down. Lance Finished his college career. Rookie from Tulane. Career over in Oxford at my... Mm. Wow. And the crowd seeing it. To throw. Canoe was the target. And Great the Carter. Mason man. Ramon Jefferson behind Wolford. Wolford. Jefferson. There you go. Continuing to push oh, toward the wow. end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Wow. And Tampa Bay rests the lead away from Cincinnati with 57 seconds to go. What an impressive individual effort from Ramon Jefferson. He just, I mean, that's just pure power, determination. Couple of linemen keep pushing, keep pushing. A little push from behind. But wow, Ramon Jefferson. Free agent the from the Bronx. Play was under review. Went to Maine, where he played for Liam Cohen. Then he landed at Garden City Community College, the FCS at Sam Houston State, and then he finished at Kentucky for Liam Cohn, who's now the offensive coordinator in his first year for the Buccaneers. And with all scoring plays, this will be reviewed. As it stands, eight plays, 69 yards over 236 wow. for the Buccaneers to grab the lead right at the end. Wow. By the way, this is an official, re could end up being quite impactful. You can now have a third coach's challenge if either of your first two challenges are successful this year. And it happened about a dozen times last year that a coach used two challenges but wasn't able to use a third years, whether they were correct or not. As we take a look at this, oh, oh, is oh, clock oh, is oh. ticked. You tell me in that mass of humanity <laughs> Wolf, what part is Ramon uh, Jefferson. You know what? All that's it's just college big lineman. That was 45 scored out. New wow. was the yeah. running back. There you go. For the moment. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And the Bengals. Will can defend the extra point and they get 57 seconds and three timeouts. Try and go down and either win the game or tie it here at the end of the first week of the preseason. This is suddenly a fairly important extra point. Plays 69 yards over two wow. circumstances. Yep. By the way, this is that there's no overtime. This is pure power determination. A couple of linemen keep McLaughlin. Oh, oh my goodness. Stuck that push in, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Little push wow. from behind. But oh, wow. Carter. Kentucky one. And this is returnable from the one. Evans. Steam rolls forward. 25 to Evans lowers his shoulder. Gets a lot of real estate after the 57 seconds. And Woodside leads away. the Bengals this is off their south. Trying to pull out a win. Out of week one. And Lassiter, and you got. Burton on this side. Lachlan, the tight end, motions right. Woodside, pressure up the middle. Woodside going deep down the left sideline. Oh. 
Excellent coverage, and he still makes the catch. Got Woodside. behind Andrew Hayes, and Woodside has found Burton for two big ones now. Oh, turned him around, but Hayes is right there, and he still makes the catch. Great concentration, great hands. See, that's my, I love this action. Huh? Hopefully McPherson doesn't have much of a role from here. The Bengals are trying to win this game, not yep. tie it. Exactly. Akeem Butler checks into the game, the Offensive Player of the Year in the UFL. Woodside to throw. He's looking. Oh, Deep down oh, the flag it, flag it. Attempt. And that was a lot of contact on wow. the aforementioned Hakeem Butler. Incomplete. And that was Hayes again. The Bengals are picking on the young corner. Butler 6-5. Trying to get the mismatch out there, and I thought they had it. I'm surprised he still has his jersey on. Look at this. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at that. He's got one arm wrapped around him. He's got the other guy, the other arm on his shoulder pad. Wow. Second down and 10. Woodside to throw. Woodside throwing oh. toward the end zone. Oh. Skitters out of the hands of a diving Kendrick Pryor, and he knew he had him. That was Chris McDonald in Khalid, seeded a touchdown that saw the Bucks ahead in the final minute. Woodside throws left and skips out of bounds. Pull out of the hands of McLaughlin, the tight end. Oh right. He's got a right. 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 Do we want to draw? I just found them around. Go for it. Play Play we don't get draws hands. here. That's a, that's <laughs> Let's get the win here on this one. Or at least the first down. 17-14 Tampa oh, Bay. Yeah. A huge play to Burton. To get the Bengals Woods all up. the way down to the Look 24. It. They need oh, 10 oh, here oh, to son. extend the game. Woodside. Evades. Looks. He's going to run at the 20. He's caught from behind, and he is short. And Jay Person was able to catch up from behind and knock down the Woodside. And a turnover on Dallas. Oh, a gutsy play from Logan Woodside, but it's not enough. Let's take a look here. A little pressure Woodside from the outside. To throw. So he He's looking. To oh, oh. oh. Uh, heck of a play there. Pressure the quarterback and then run him down right there. You see him. Pearson just speed and runs him down. That's a heck of a play there. Rick Pearson does number 44. A name right out of central casting. Woodside, some heroic moments, but in the end, Cincinnati is going to fall short tonight. And that kneel down will do it. Cincinnati will fall in week one of the preseason to Tampa Bay. A real thriller at the end. And they'll look at the joint practices on Thursday.